We'll check out this week's build showcase of Port Jervis's Ford F550 fast response vehicle that we just got done with for them. This is a 2022 Ford F550 crew cab diesel with a 60 cab to axle measurement. First off the bat, you can see we've got a full buck stop single rear wheel conversion. We've got the buck stock bumper. We've got their fender flares. We've got their wheel and tire kit. And then the rear wheel was changed from a dually to a single, giving us extra lift and ground clearance for them. So up top, first off, we'll talk about the 55 inch Enfuse XL dual stack, dual color light bar. So this is new light bar coming out from Sound Off Signal, dual color white override. Up front, we've got seven by threes in dual color. We've got headlight flasher that's currently on park kill. We've got Sound Off Signal six by one ORV lights mounted in the front cutouts. Looked out real nice. We've got winch provision power so they can use the uh, portable winch that we have in the one compartment that we mounted. We've got four inch M powers down the side. We added bezels to them, give them a little bit more beefy look. You can see the graphics package that we installed on the vehicle match their existing apparatus. We did some uh, branding and name placard for them. So this is um, has the American flag with the red backlight. We could also make that flash you've seen on some of our other videos. Luverne grips up seven inch running boards. And power dual colors mounted to the outside of them for intersection warning. Around the outside of the truck, we've got Technique pump panel lights to give the ground clearance lighting. We're looking at our body on the vehicle. So what we've done is we've brought in seven by three dual color lights up top. Those are the M power model. And then we've got four inch on the sides. We've got Andor painted roll up doors with the integrated LED channels on them. In our passenger side number one compartment, we've got on-scene solution slide out tray with dry deck compartment decking. And then we've got 110 in, located in all of our compartments along with uh, 12 volt and ground sources. So they're either behind the panels or in the upper portion of it. Uh, this on-scene solution is a dual direction slide out so it can come out either way. Compartment above the wheel well, they've got their trays that are loose for them because they're not gonna be using them. Well, you can see we've got our Blue Seas Power and 110 distribution. Uh, we added pack tracking to all the walls and we brought it all the way up, giving them plenty of storage options. Our rear compartment, pack tracking all the way up so they can mount their equipment, 12 volt power and ground. So look at the back, we've got our graphics. Seven by three M powers, they are in tricolor, so they are either red, amber, white, or blue, amber, white. So they have white scene functions. Then we have the same for our four inch M powers along the top. 
red amber white or blue amber white. So the amber does the arrow stick, the white does the reverse scene, gives you plenty of different options. Rostra backup camera tied into the factory uh, backup control system so it shows up on the screen. We've got the six by four sound off bezel for our DOT lights. We've got our brake tail turn, amber turn signals. Our white reverse. The rear bumper was stainless. We powder coated it to match the rest of the vehicle. We brought the hitch out to give them better mounting for it because it was tucked back in there. So we had to customize that. We've got our seven way trailer plugs and then we've got our 12 volt power for our winch. And then we've got our nice 1075 mud flaps. So the rear compartment, on-scene solution slide-out tray. So we've got two slide-out trays. Work out great for mounting the equipment. The top one is on an adjustable track system that they can fine tune it if they so need to. Again, Amdor roll-up doors painted to match the truck. On the side, warning lights are the same as the other side. Our compartments are the same with the Pack tracking, our 110 and 12 volt power for flexibility. We've got our Kuzmo auto eject. And then on this side, we've got our 110 power distribution off of our shoreline to all the outlets. And then we made a custom hitch receiver for the winch. That way they can mount this and keep it stored in the compartment and it's plenty secure. We're looking at our under seat electronics compartment for our uh, main distribution of our power and our components. So we've got our radio chassis, we've got extra 110 outlets uh, to put any chargers or anything they may need to. We've got our blueprint control panel along with the aftershock. We've got our Kuzmo battery charger. All of our stuff's nicely labeled for ease of serviceability. We've also got some extra circuits there in case they need to make any adjustments down the road. So we're looking at our front console. Uh, we've got all their radios cut out. We've got our sound off controller for the blueprint control system, our cup holders. We've got a storage pocket in the back for them. Uh, our Cosmo indicators on the side. We've got our hint mount for their Microsoft Surface. We've got our recess speaker for our Apex radio. And then we've got our door open indicator that's tied into the doors. It'll do steady when the door is open and then it'll flash along with the enunciator from the panel to let you know that there's a compartment door open. We've got our upfitter switches that are tied into the control system that we're gonna be adding on some custom laser engraved panels too. We're looking at our drive response mode. So you can see we've added our flashing white to the vehicle including our light bar, our seven by threes and our headlight flasher. And then we've also got our six by one ORV lights tied into Blueprint, giving you additional warning. And that's all programmable. That's the nice thing about Blueprint is you can make changes when you want to and make it suit your needs as you go along. If you have any questions about this vehicle, we have Super Duties on order. So if you missed the order bank, we have a truck identical to this that's on order and we can build the body, do anything you want to it. If you have any questions about this vehicle or one built better to suit your needs, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to help you out with your next project.